Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Stock Investing and Trading 101. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about some technical analysis. I'm going to show you guys how to draw Fibonacci lines on any chart, any time frame. Uh, and I'm going to talk about what they represent. So if you don't know how to draw Fibonacci lines, if you don't know what they mean or how to analyze them, uh, or even what they are, uh, this is the video for you. Uh, before we get into that, I want to remind you guys, if you haven't liked and subscribed uh, to my channel already, uh, I would definitely appreciate if you do that. I drop lots of technical analysis content. We talk about investing, stock trading, all things stock related. Uh, so let's get into this. We're going to be doing Fibonacci retracements. Uh, I'll quickly show you guys what they look like. Uh, this is what the Fibonacci retracements look like. It's a series of seven lines that represent possible support and resistance levels. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take them off and I'm going to show you guys first how to draw these lines. Uh, you can draw these lines on any stock or ETF. Uh, pretty much any chart you can draw these on, any time frame. You could do this on AT&T. You could do this on uh, the NASDAQ, which is QQQ. Uh, any stock, ETF, any chart you can put these on. How to draw them uh, using Thinkorswim, which is what I'm using right now. Uh, first, we're going to click on Drawing Tools, uh, or Drawings, then Drawing Tools. We're going to go to the percent sign. It says Fibonacci Retracements, and we're going to click. Uh, the first thing you do uh, is once you find the chart that you want to put them on and the time frame, is you first click on the high point, which we have at 339.08, uh, and then you drag it down to the low point of the chart, uh, so which is all the way down here at 218.26, and you click. Uh, and it will draw the lines for you. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is uh, these lines are made. They are made by a complex calculation. Uh, we have the golden ratio, which is at 61.8%. Uh, so this is called the golden ratio. Uh, as I mentioned, this whole Fibonacci retracement is part of a calculation. Uh, and when the calculation was made, this ended up being the golden ratio. Uh, but pretty much looking at it technically, these lines represent major points or possible points of support and resistance. Many uh, traders, large-scale investors, hedge funds, uh, anybody who is you know a full-time stock trader uh, typically uses these lines at some point or another. Uh, I'm a big fan of the lines, having them up on my chart, uh, because you can see a lot of times when stock price levels get to one of these lines, uh, there's uh, some interesting things that happen. You'll see here we have uh, at the 78% uh, level, we tested this line as resistance twice. We tested it, bounced down, tested again, and then we broke downwards. We broke through the golden ratio of 61.8% and we pretty much bounced and consolidated around the 50%. Uh, then we had a big swing down again, uh, and we came back up. Uh, so once the price action gets to these levels, you'll see there's a lot of consolidation. Sometimes there's direct bouncing off of these levels, uh, but they're very important. Uh, and I think, you know, if you aren't using them, you're definitely uh, doing yourself a disjustice in some cases. They're really easy to put on. Uh, it can make your chart a little messy, so if you want to remove them or edit them, I usually have the 50% uh, line, I'll make it a different color, and then the golden uh, ratio, 61.8%, usually make gold. Uh, but you can set it up however you want, you can take certain lines off. I like to just pretty much keep it as default because all it is is connecting the high to the low, and it draws the lines for you. Uh, so we can even do this on a shorter term time frame. You see I already have it drawn on the 90 minute time frame. Uh, going into Monday, we were actually pretty much right at this level. We've been at this level now actually for uh, quite a few days now, this 50% white level. Um, and it was actually using the line directly as support and resistance for many occurrences. Uh, so those are the lines, guys. I'm going to be making more videos discussing different tools and indicators. Uh, I'm going to be doing kind of short style videos to get right to the point. That's the Fibonacci retracements. Uh, you can do it on any time frame, uh, and, and you can use it as major support and resistance lines, and they're actually quite accurate. So, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tune in for more. 
And if you have any uh, indicators or studies and strategies that you want me to uh, make a video about, comment below and let me know what you want me to talk about. Thanks, guys.